Hey guys, back from a long hiatus, but don't worry, I'm pretty much here to stay. Hope you guys are doing well, I'm doing fine right here. As some of you guys that have been subscribed to this channel quite a while, you guys know how much I am a bokeh junkie. And the first lens that really struck me and really made my jaw drop has to be the 50mm f1.0 L lens by Canon. That lens was just such a legendary lens. If you guys actually think I have that lens right now with me for this review, well, I'm sorry to upset you guys. I don't have that lens. That lens is just so hard to get by and no. However, I do have something with an f1.0 aperture too, and it's this lens. It's this lens by Fuji, the 50mm f1.0. Right, first and foremost, I have to say a big thank you to Fuji Malaysia for loaning this lens out to me. I really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me so far and I, I just, I have no words. Thanks so much Fuji Malaysia. And for those of you who have been subscribed to the channel may already know, you know my reviews are not going to be scientific and super detailed. They're pretty much just me and my take on a lens or on any other product that I am using. So if you do like that sort of review, then I guess this review is definitely for you. Also, just as a side note, for this review, I am just going to be focusing more on photography for this lens. So if that does also tickle your fancy, then I guess this review is also definitely for you. Right, so as always, let's first have a look at the build quality of this lens. Like any other Fuji lenses, it's something that I've come to expect. Fuji lenses are just built so well and they just feel so good in the hand and they really feel premium. And when it comes to Fuji build quality, I don't really have any complaints. The aperture dial works really fine. It feels well dampened. I would say if there's one probably gripe I might have, but I think this is probably something that has to do specifically with the copy that I have since it is a demo copy, is the fact that the aperture ring is slightly loose, but I don't really expect new lenses to feel this way. So it's something that I guess I can shut an eye and I would expect you guys to have a better copy. Other than that, everything about this lens feels good and premium. It is heavy though. Right, so now the build quality is out of the way, let's go into the specs of this lens. This lens is constructed using 12 elements in 9 groups and it includes one spherical element. This lens comes with 9 rounded aperture blades. Its aperture at its widest can be opened up all the way to f1 and it can be closed down all the way down to f16. This lens weighs a whopping 845 grams and you can really feel the heft of this lens every time you use it. So that's worth bearing in mind every time you do decide to take this lens outside to use it. This lens comes with a filter thread of about 77 millimeters and in terms of closest focusing distance, it's not too bad. It does it at 70 centimeters, so you can get super close to your subjects and still be able to have a medium-ish kind of a lens in terms of focal length. Right, so that's roughly the specs out of the way. Now let's first talk about the usability and experience I had using this lens. I really love the compression that this focal length gives me. It is one of those lenses that can make almost any subject really stand out because the background just melts into the bokehlicious butter that I just so love. 50mm of this lens works out to be closer to a 75mm focal length equivalent on a full frame sensor. I love using this focal length a lot, especially for portraits. The compression of this lens really causes background subjects to appear a lot closer than they actually are. So it's a really nice lens to get those backgrounds coming really close to you and also maintaining that great background separation. So what are some of the things I didn't like about this lens? Well the thing that really stood out most about this lens has definitely got to be its weight. It's one of those lenses that I do think twice every time I do decide to take it out simply because it's so heavy to lug around everywhere. So that's something worth bearing in mind. If you're not into something that's going to be heavy to bring around then this might not be the lens for you. Also if you do want to use this lens for video and also anything that involves faster autofocus then this is also definitely not a lens for you because this lens is not as fast in terms of the autofocusing capabilities so you really have to pre-focus on certain things especially fast moving subjects anyway here are some more sample shots that I managed to take as always I did some street shoots with this lens and I hope you like some of the shots I managed to snap with this lens also for those of you who are wondering just as a side note, I did shoot it wide open most of the time. Oh, and before I forget, I was shooting on the Fuji X-T4 for these shots.
And here are just some more shots that I did manage to take minus the POV. Okay, so what's my conclusion about using this lens for a few weeks now? Who do I think really should get this lens? Well, for me, I think this lens makes an excellent companion for serious portrait photographers. The bokeh and the compression this lens offers is simply beautiful, to say the least. However, at its price, this lens is definitely not for everyone. This lens is also not a lens for quick running gun stuff that requires fast shooting action because of its slow autofocus capabilities. The speed that this lens manages to autofocus will definitely cause you to miss quite a few shots if you do want to use it for fast moving action stuff. But that being said, it's not to say that you can't use it at all for sports. You just have to work a little bit smarter and pre-focus on things that you really want to snap. Oh yeah, before I forget, in terms of chromatic aberrations and lens flaring, I think this lens is really well controlled and I didn't really have anything that I want to complain about it in terms of that. Also, the bokeh of this lens is something that's simply so gorgeous and so creamy. So if you really do need that bokeh liciousness, then this lens is definitely a great lens for that sort of thing. Right, so I guess that's it for my review on this lens. I know it's not a long review at all by any stretch of the imagination. However, I do hope you did find some of the information in here quite useful don't forget to give it a like share comment and subscribe also i have left links to all the gears that i use to make these videos down in the description below so do check them out and also if you would like to help support this channel by making a small contribution i did leave a link to buy me a coffee down in the description below also my paypal link is also down in the description below right i guess that's it for now see you guys in the next review or the next video whichever peace